sodium batteries, guys, sodium batteries primarily use, well, salt. Well, not technically, actually, sodium comes from salt. But, you know, salt is one of the most abundant resources on the planet. So that's one of the reasons that sodium batteries make so much sense. However, one of the reasons that sodium batteries also make sense is because they're a way for Europe to not have to depend on China's lithium dominance. However, now a natural wood-based polymer is constituting up to 30% of a battery or a sodium battery being made in Europe, making these batteries not only environmentally friendly, not only environmentally friendly, but also well, very cheap to manufacture. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Guys, wouldn't it be kind of cool to say, I've got an EV, it's got good range, and it uses wood and salt for the battery pack. That's kind of, um, kind of weird, but actually it's true. Finland-based Stora Enso, one of the world's largest owners of private forests, has a sustainable solution to the world's increasing demand for energy storage for batteries and, of course, to the dominance of China. That is, batteries made partially from trees. In partnership with Swiss battery maker Altris, Stora Enso is exploring using Lignode, a potential replacement for graphite in batteries. Now, graphite is used heavily in batteries and it does it it is a significant part of the cost with the world rapidly switching to cleaner sources of energy through solar and wind farms there is an increased demand for solutions that can store excess energy generated on sunny or windy days so actually these sodium wood-based batteries may be primarily used for energy storage before evs lithium-based batteries are the most energy dense solutions that we currently have that are you know mass manufactured however the supply chain for making these batteries is well it's primarily um primarily based in china let's be honest and the cost many of the cost competitive batteries if you want to buy batteries that are affordable for big big battery storage projects you've pretty much got to get those from china countries in the west do depend on china to secure their energy transition whether that's tesla mega packs or byd's large batteries prompting a change in how energy is stored um, kind of you know prompting really some of these european companies to say you know what we need to compete we need to find solutions to this what this means is european governments are building large scale energy storage solutions that do not use lithium some of those include for example flow based batteries or heat based batteries however Lithium batteries are also core components of technological advances such as mobile phones, laptops, and EVs, says Interesting Engineering. And therefore, we need a solution for that. Switzerland-based Altris develops sodium-based batteries already, a potential replacement for lithium batteries. Made using abundantly available sodium, these batteries and other similarly innovative tech can help the West develop its own supply chain. A spin-off from Uppsala University, Altris can develop cathodes, electrolytes, battery cells, and battery and factory blueprints for commercial scale battery production, making it ideal for developing a new type of battery out of trees. So batteries from trees, what do they mean? Well, Stora Enso uses its forest reserves to manufacture pulp, of which lignin is a byproduct. A naturally occurring polymer, lignin makes up to 30% of a tree and is abundantly available. It's not really used for anything else either. It's a byproduct. So it's almost like using waste to make a battery work. Lignin also contains carbon, which makes it suitable for making the anode or the positive electrode in a battery, whether based on lithium or sodium. Stora Enso developed the technology at its pilot plant in Finland and refers to it as Lignode. Currently, anodes are made primarily from graphite. Some of them are made from silicon, some newer ones, but they're much more expensive to manufacture. But graphite supply is controlled pretty much by China. By using material that is a byproduct of another industrial process, essentially meaning it's waste, the company's aim is to set up a stable and consistent supply chain for the production of anodes in Europe. 
Bio-based materials are key to improving the sustainability of battery cells, said Juso Continent, Senior Vice President and Head of Biomaterials Growth at Stora Enso. With Lignote having the potential to become the most sustainable anode material in the world, this partnership with Altris aligns perfectly with our common commitment to support the ambition on more sustainable electrification. At Altris, we strive to establish a local supply chain and leverage abundant and clean materials to develop sodium iron batteries, said Bjorn Merid, CEO of Altris. Now, uh, there was a press release that talked about this, what they're doing, production. They're saying we're looking forward to the partnership over the coming years, that they will be making these batteries, commercializing them over the next few years. I can't say for sure if that will happen. But guys, don't you think this is like an ideal solution? Using a waste byproduct from trees uh, in combination with abundant sodium just sounds like the perfect, the perfect situation. Now, energy density for these kinds of batteries is going to be relatively low. It'll be quite a bit lower than lithium batteries, for example, probably about 140 watt hours per kilogram. However, that's still easily high enough for things like massive battery storage projects. And sodium batteries are actually quite an ideal solution for battery storage because weight doesn't matter. Lower energy density, which is only about 20% lower than lithium ion phosphate, but still lower, that's not such a concern for these huge battery storage projects, which are you know, put on large swathes of land. So if this can be commercialized, at an affordable price, which it sounds like it can, then this is a real battery that actually might really become a real product. Thanks for watching.